So today we are going to be talking about the three pieces of equipment. This Hobby King made electronic speed controller. This is the XC10A model. This uh, is capable of handling up to 13 volts uh, in the programming sequence. We are going to be talking about this programming card for this model. So if you purchase this model, I highly recommend to purchase this programming card as well because in the programming sequence, when you get to step number four, you should, step, you should uh, uh, choose option two, which is what allows you to run your model um, in the forward and backward mode as well. And we are going to be talking about the servo tester. So that's the so that's basically a little equipment that allows you to control the speed of your motor. So uh, here we have a couple of motors. One is this Hobby King um, ST four thousand ten. Um, it's a little noisy, but it's very good. This guy here is one of the printers motor that I, I bought online. And all of them are three phase motors. So this guy here, this uh, electronic speed controller, uh, requires uh, that, that you have a three phase motor for it to control. Okay, so we are going to place this guy on the side because I want to turn this on the back. There is an LED light on the back, but I want you to see as we do the programming sequence. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to connect the communication cable uh, with the, um, the um, white lead on the upper part. And here you are going to connect this to the top row of pins, just like this. So it has a ground power cable and communication cable which is the white the white line right so this is it the colors in this case matter because this is ground and this is power but these three leads here the three phase leads the colors for those doesn't really matter all all we have to do oops let me put this just like this all we have to do is to connect the the rightmost lead to the rightmost lead of the motor. Like that. The middle lead to the middle lead of the motor. And the left and the, the, the leftmost lead to the leftmost lead phase of the motor. Just like this. Okay? So now we are ready to turn on the power supply. You're going to see that I have selected, um, I actually, before we turn on the power supply, I just want to show you that the position of the potentiometer has to be on the max throttle for this guy to be correctly programmed. So the max throttle, and as you will see, right, it's on, it's below, 12 volts. You just heard and saw the lead, uh, the LED blinking. So, the so this is a signal that it understood the max throttle. So if I move the potentiometer to about the middle position, right. Only when you see that sequence of blinks and the sound that you just heard it, it's an indication that you're good to go okay so now if i move my potentiometer to the towards the max throttle the motor will go in one direction if i move back to the middle the motor will stop Right. If I move from the middle to the minimal throttle, right. So when I go from the middle to the minimal throttle, the motor is actually turning in the opposite direction. 
So that's how you control the direction. Forward. You stop. And backward. Alright? So when you place the potentiometer right in the middle, the lead will stop. So let's try this exactly the same setup. Right? I will turn this off. I will put my potentiometer back to the max throttle and let's try this with the other motor okay so I will connect this to this the middle lead to the middle lead and the leftmost lead to the leftmost lead of this motor okay so my potentiometer is in the max throttle I'll turn this on. You just saw this, right? So this is this is a signal that now you're ready to move to the middle. You saw? This is good. So now if I move this <coughs> towards the max throttle, the motor will move in one direction. Right? If I move to the middle, the motor will stop. The light will blink. And now you have the motor turning in the opposite direction. Okay? So just make sure when you go to the middle, just make sure that the motor has stopped before you move to the opposite direction okay all right so that's it for now and uh, in my next video i will show you how we can do this exactly the same thing using the arduino microcontroller and uh, but that's that's it for now all right see you guys later bye bye